Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Imani here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Pat McGrath Utopian Dream Palette. Okay. I had one subscriber ask me, how do you use this palette? Like, what do you do? So I'm going to show you one variation. I'm also going to give you some examples of other eye looks that I've done with this palette. But all in all, I really, really like this palette and I think it is definitely worth the investment. You know, if this is your first time watching the beat, welcome. And if this is not your first time, you already know what it is. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, put your bell on for notifications. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi guys. So long time no see i feel like we definitely need to catch up but today let's stick to makeup okay i'm gonna have a story time come in soon i think i want to do more story time just so that i could update you on what's going on with me and you know sat back to post regularly on my youtube because i definitely miss it i miss being here with you guys and interacting and filming videos and creating content and like doing what i love so let's get into this so the first thing i'm gonna start with is my brows now i know you guys probably saw the short about my pat mcgrath utopian palette which i am obsessed with okay i am so happy that my friend stefan got this for me for my birthday so this is what we're gonna be like swatching today and talking about so this is my first pat mcgrath palette and i will say that this is definitely an investment but it is worth it now if you're a beginner to eyeshadow i wouldn't say that you should go out and buy such an expensive palette i feel like you could start with maybelline you could start with morphe you could start with ColourPop. try small palettes small price practice and then when you give yourself like six months of practice then you could go out and say, okay, for my birthday or for something special, I want to get me a Pat McGrath palette. This palette has 10 shades in it and it retails for $125. Now, if you have this Utopian Dream Palette or one of the Mothership palettes, I'm going to show you like how you could use it. Okay, so I have a follower and she was like, girl, but how do you use this palette? Now, I also want to say the packaging is like elite. So this is the box that it comes in and I saved this. I don't think I'm going to throw this away. Like the palette comes in here. It's just so expertly crafted. Um, this is a hard cardboard, but it's giving vibes. So I'm going to save this. I'm saving this as a collector's item. Side note, I just wanted to show you guys. How I would use this palette, um, you have three matte shade like seven shimmer shades but some of the shimmers are like toppers so i usually go in with the mattes first so i pick up this pink right here and i usually you know my technique if you've never watched my videos i have hooded eyes so i raise my brows and i place this pink right in the crease right here now i kind of wish that this palette had like a deeper brown in it but you know miss pat she did her color story and the color story is beautiful and you could definitely just use this but sometimes you know you want a little bit more depth so you could use like your bronzer you could use your contour you know you could improvise all right so i'm taking this mac 224 brush and y'all i'm gonna start back doing tutorials i feel like tutorials are very helpful and i kind of miss them so i'm gonna do them right so that's that pinky shade then i'm gonna go in with the same brush and i'm gonna kind of blend it out with this shade right here it's kind of like a dusty pink and i'm just gonna take it on the edges and just kind of like blend out the edges a little bit these shadows are so blendable they're so smooth and soft so with another brush i'm gonna go in with this Luxie 231 brush this is a smaller blending brush and i'm gonna go into the dark brown shade right here and I'm just gonna take this in my real crease and just like deepen that up, okay? And I'm just doing like windshield wiper motions right here. Right now I have on a little bit of mascara, so that's why my lashes are kind of like popping a little bit, if you noticed. And you know what mascara that is? I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I've been kind of sleeping on that mascara. I think it's the Four Seas Lash Lift by, Mas by Maybelline. It's really good. It is really good, I, I like it. I might do a quick compilation of like mascaras for baby lashes ones that are worth your coin i think i'll do that on my tiktok i'll tell you guys a little bit about like where i've been so i've kind of been uh concentrating on my instagram a lot i really wanted to you know, hit 10k on instagram and that hasn't really been happening for me you know instagram is where i have most of my followers for now 
and I've been doing more brand collaborations and brand deals on Instagram and I just felt like you know once I get to 10k I would get to charge more I would reach more people you know I would help more people I would be having more fun I would have opportunities that you know I didn't have in the past and I feel like I kind of you know I let that limit me a little bit and I kind of got away from my YouTube a little bit and YouTube is really where I started YouTube is really where I find a lot of joy and I just wasn't feeling a lot of joy from creating content on YouTube you know it was very time-consuming because I do everything myself you know I edit my videos I film I like come up with all the ideas all the concepts so it's a lot so I kind of I neglected my YouTube basically and I was also getting angry so sorry side note I'm gonna take this color right here it's like a champagne -y shimmer shade uh, I'm just gonna put it on my brow bone. Back to YouTube. So I felt like YouTube was not sending out my notifications whenever I would post. I felt like YouTube was also suppressing the views on my videos. You know, my Fenty videos are kind of like what I was known for and people weren't seeing them. And I was like, what? I was really mad about it because I felt like I was doing so much, but I wasn't being seen and I wasn't reaching the audience that I reached before and I wanted to know what I was doing wrong. And you can really get caught up with numbers here on YouTube. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to lie. On any social media, you can get caught up with numbers, especially if you're trying to do influencing and trying to do content creation. So that kind of made me resentful of YouTube because it's a lot of work and you really need to love it you really need to love it and i was kind of falling and falling out of love with it i didn't know exactly what i wanted to post on my youtube you know my reviews and stuff were not making the views that they, it usually did and i got discouraged i'm like why am i doing all of this and nobody is seeing it <laughs> And so I felt, and even if you go back and watch some of my videos, you could see that I was like, yeah, if anybody sees this, blah, 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 or nobody's going to see this. Like, I would be verbal about it. But I really want to refocus and get back to my YouTube and get back to what I love. And I also want to share more of who I am and my story and kind of letting you in more to like who Libby is and more of what makes me me. And I think that is essentially what has been missing from this platform, right? Imani, the, the real me. That is kind of what is missing. So I'm gonna interject it more. So stay tuned, right? Like I'm gonna show up more. I'm gonna share more of my personality. And I think that this is gonna be fun. And I'm gonna try to take off some of the stress over myself, the expectations off of myself. Like I'm just gonna create what I love and I hope that people who enjoy the same things as me, who are interested in some of the same things will find me. And I'm putting that all into the universe and I'm gonna leave it there and just do what I need to do. Okay, so let's get back to the shimmers of this palette. Now, I feel like I need to swatch these. So let me just swatch real quick. So this is the one I put on my brow bone, Immaculate. I don't think I've ever used this color, okay? So these are all the shimmers. Now, I would say my favorite one has to be this one. Sometimes it looks green, sometimes it looks like a bronzy shade. Oh, this one is also, so. these two are also gorgeous. These are like the toppers of the bunch. So I'm gonna insert a couple of videos of me wearing um, two of the shades. So in this one, I did the purpley shade. And in this one, I did the gold shade. And in this one, I did the kind of greeny shift shade. So today, I feel like I have to use this shade right here, which you probably can't even see. But yeah. So this is the one that I'm missing. And another tip that I learned from Arika is that you wanna place your brush upside down like this and work from your lash line go up so that you don't like overshoot your lid color. And this brush I'm using is from Sigma. It's the E55 brush. I like starting from the bottom and kind of just bringing it up. I think it's a great tip for beginners too because sometimes you put your brush like this and then by the time you know it, your like lip color is up into your transition. It's too high, okay? You took it too, too high, sis. And that is kind of like my basic routine for my shadow. I do the transition, I blend it out, I put a darker color in my true crease, and then I go in with a shimmer 
and I put that on my lid. And I also like to do a brow bone highlight. You don't have to do a brow bone shimmer highlight. Sometimes the concealer that you use to clean up your brows is just enough and you can leave it just like that if you want. But if you like how a shimmer highlight looks, I do, I always put it. Or even, you know, like a matte, light, creamy highlight, you could do that too if you want, okay? So let's go on to the next eye. So as I do this next eye, I also wanna say my first strategy when I first started my YouTube was you know i'm gonna just review products like i'm gonna be a reviewer but the thing about doing reviews is that you need to have money okay you need to have money to buy these products and you know things are launching every single day like products are launching daily so it's hard for you to get it all especially when you just started out then it becomes really nice when companies start sending you stuff and then you realize that you know oh my gosh now i have all this stuff and it's like, okay, so which one do I choose like <laughs> to review? You know, like the people who follow you will say, yeah, do this. And then they won't watch your video. Like people who follow you and engage with your content, they watch, they would like request certain things and then they never watch the video. And that could be so many reasons why. First of all, they have their notifications on, but y'all know like it's crazy that sometimes YouTube does not send out the notifications or they take it off for you. I don't know why they do that, but okay. Um, so they never get your notifications or it kind of fell off on YouTube. Like they're not on YouTube like they used to be. Or um, yeah, YouTube just is not suggesting your content to the people who used to want to see it. So now you have all these videos that used to do so well on your channel and they just don't do well anymore. And it's discouraging because why we really do this is so that people could see it. Like because so that you, you know, to share. <laughs> so if you're sharing your content and then nobody sees it, it's like, what's the real point then? You know, that's how you feel, right? It's tough because then you have to self-motivate. You have to say, I just want to share this with people. I just want to share this with the world. I have a new trick. I have a new tip. You know, I think people will love my personality. And you kind of just have to do it without any expectation. Any expectation that anyone is going to see it. And I think when you let go of the expectations, um, that's kind of when you thrive. Now, another thing is that YouTube is not for everyone. It really isn't. If it was for everyone, then everybody would have millions of views on their channel, right? Or everyone would have millions of subscribers. Like there is something that set people apart. And I feel like when you find out what that is that sets you apart, then, you know, keep doing that, keep evolving and keep having fun. When you stop having fun, you got to switch something up. And I can't, I stop having fun. So I'm trying to switch it up so that I could get back to this place of creating content for my audience and for myself. So that's what we're about to be doing, okay? Somebody asked me to do this video for them, how to use the Pat McGrath Utopian Dream Palette. And that is what I am delivering to you right now. This is how I would use it. All right, so that is how I would use the Pat McGrath Utopian Dream Palette. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more looks, more reviews. I'm also gonna be bringing a lot more fashion to the channel. I bought a couple things for Black Friday that I'm excited to share with you and more story times too about like where I've been and what YouTube did to me, okay? Um, I'm gonna leave a list of everything that I use down below and I hope that you will check out some of those things. I do also have all my coupon codes down below if you're interested in getting a discount on some of your favorite beauty and lifestyle products. And yeah, you know, you can follow me on my social media platforms. It's Ludovic on Instagram and on TikTok and Ludovic Inc. on Facebook and Pinterest. And without further ado, thank you so much for watching and have a great night, guys. Bye. Uh, my time I guess I started thinking